house. We're gonna go to Josh's house shortly. MW. You're done now. MW. Gonna work their muscles. Um, in this weaver's field. Really nice. Very fieldy. Really Very nice. Very nice. And the air this morning is a certified creme fraiche. Fraiche. <laughs> creme fraiche. Push day. Chest, delts, biceps. Just so you With know. The when, someone, when someone steps up to you and you can just get off me. Get out of here. Get off me, you Gonna get busy, boy. Okay then guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of voiceover, something that I haven't done in a long, long time. So I'm just gonna talk about the workout to start off with, um, and then I'm gonna probably in future do more of these and just maybe put a topic over the top of it so we can we can focus on something more specific when we do this. Uh, so this is my first exercise, obviously a Smith flat press, this is 120, I actually didn't improve from the previous week on this, I think I hit 6 or 7 reps on this, um, I, I find that with any, with more than anything my chest stalls more, um, but when it's once I'm over the hump of stalling, normally the next week I'm back on it, so through the next week of rotations I'm back on it. 48 guys, I did this for I think 7 reps, and I actually... I was looking back through my log the other day and I started this on 32s. So my 5 to 9 was 32 and now I'm doing 48. So I'm more than more than happy with my progress in terms of chest. Um, I do only do 6 sets a week. I know it doesn't seem like very much. I'm still progressively overloading. I'm still getting stronger. So in theory I should be building muscle. I'm not sure whether I should be doing more more sets over the week. I'm tempted to even add some in and talk to the coach about it because I do want to make sure I am hitting that chest but obviously everything's the failure as you can see um, but yeah it's because I literally do the two presses at the start and then these cable flies here and that's my chest done for the week so I do want to hit it a little bit more I don't want to neglect any part but I also don't want to overlook any weaknesses that could be creeping in or anything like that very very simple you guys have done these 10 times 20 times 30 times before I'm sure um, but just trying to hug a tree as Arnold said coming as wide as you can as you see that it gets a little bit too heavy So I kind of I pull across a little bit too much um, Don't do that Shoulder press um, Again shoulder press. I think I, th I just think overhead presses and, and presses in general are very hard to To kind of to progress just in terms of when you're getting to the top end of progression Like it's getting very very heavy and you're only increasing by a rep or two rather than weight just because it's, it's it's just you versus the weight, you know, like is the you get gravity as well. Gravity is gonna, if you let go of that weight, it's coming straight down. Whereas you, when you're pulling, when you let go, it's going back to exactly where the position it started, and it's not you're not in harm, you're not in you know in danger as such. But I definitely think that you can pull a lot more than you can push, and I think it is a lot easier to progress with pulling as well. So that's just my little two cents on progression. I find it quite hard to progress on these. 32.5s for the lateral raises. I don't know if I'm happy with my form when I'm doing this, guys. Please comment down below if you think I'm swinging too much or using too much flair. I really am not sure when I do them. So I've actually taken the weight down to 20s. Um, and I'm doing them nice and slow. No swinging, zero movement, and just keeping it all on the lats. Uh, this was a 15 to 20 set rep of lateral raises. Um, always do these on a shoulder day just to keep things moving. And God, I love behind the neck as well. Finished off on two bicep movements, um, the straight easy bar curls, started on this on 10s, finishing now on 20, just going back to go up to 25s next week, uh, so progression has happened, but my arms aren't very strong, I know that, so don't judge me for it, I know a lot of guys' arms are much, much stronger, so that's it. Last movement was a single arm bicep curl, I, again, this is this out of everything has been the hardest movement to progress the single arm bicep curl. I don't know why, but it just, like, look how slow that rep is, you know, and that's not even my last rep. I'm just, I don't know, I've got no strength in that movement. I really just don't know why. It's just, it's just the way it is. Left arm's not too bad. I'm left-handed. But I think when I get down to that end portion of it, when almost my arm goes completely straight, that's when it's just in such a weak position. I don't know whether I should keep the tension on, keep the tension off. Let me know. I'm not really sure. Post workout meal 200 grams of mint, 100 grams of rice, 2 crumpets, 40 grams of jam, and 100 grams of cocoa pops.
Yes, a lot of carbs. Um, I've got a little work in 15 minutes, so I've got to eat all that in 10 minutes, so I'm going to put the camera down now. Um, if this is the end of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace. Maybe I'll film something later, but I'm not sure. If not, see you later, guys.